What's going on guys? This is Wall of the Winds. I'm sorry this is gonna take uh, such a long time to get out here. Um, I know if I was gonna be doing something like this it should have been done earlier, but I've had a few complications with mics and such. Uh, anyways, it's gonna be kind of a breakdown of the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer trailer. I said I am late on it, but I'm not gonna be doing your regular thing where I point out to you what gun someone's using, uh, what perks they're using, how they're moving, and, you know, saying it as if you're stupid and you can't see what's on the screen. Uh, I'm not going to repeat a bunch of information, I'm actually going to add my own take into this. Uh, we got the trailer running in the background, uh, depending on how long this commentary is, I'll speed it up. I mean, uh, slow it down, you know, maybe double time, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Anyways, I want to get into the gameplay mechanics that these uh, changes will have you know, take place, or sorry, what effect they'll have. So the first thing I want to get at is that, you know, people do get very excited about the game, but I'm going to be giving an honest opinion focusing on the negatives, because there we need to be addressed, as NASA 1 pointed out. So the first thing you might have seen in the beginning of the trailer is why it's select fire. We have the select fire on the, was it the MAA1? And a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, that's great, we're taking that from Battlefield, it's going to be great. But the reason it's not going to work is Oh, did I have voice crack there or something? The reason it's not going to work is because the only reason people use select fire is to tame recoil because in a fully automatic gun, the recoil is greater than that of a semi-automatic or three-burst rifle. Call of Duty is known to be one of the games with low recoil. Uh, it's always true, so why is someone going to slow down the rate of fire significantly on a gun when there's going to be you know, barely any change in recoil, unless they're buffing the recoil in this game and um, making it worse. But from what we've seen in all these guns in the trailer, it doesn't look like that. It looks like it's going to be continual, as Call of Duty always is. Now, another problem that I'm noticing here um, with the whole select fire is that why are you going to use this when the guns have a certain damage? Like, uh, well, I guess never mind, because it'll be on certain guns, but there could be a problem with the damage profile when you're using a gun fully automatic, and then you're taking it down all the way when you're using it semi-auto. You know, why would you want to use a gun with low damage semi-auto? So, it'll be interesting to see. The second thing is getting further. This is the biggest problem I see with this trailer. You know what, never mind. I'm going to go to the next one, and I'll leave that till the end. All the useless items, all right? It... It seems like it's not a big deal, but then when you get later into the game cycle with Modern Warfare 3, and you see everyone using an MP7, an ACR, and a Type 95, uh, when people are only using the silencers and red dot sights, and everyone's using sleight of hand, assassin, you know, the same things. When there's a little variation, it's bad for the game, and it's even worse when you have useless items. I mean, I'm going to count a bunch of things out I see here. That tunnel vision scope uh, near the riot shield part, no one's going to use that. Uh, the hammer, a I think it was a hammer scope, no one's going to use that. No one uses it in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, the microwave kill streak, sure, it's all fancy, but when it comes down to it, people are going to take a UAV over that, a predator type uh, missile over that, and it looks like it's easy to destroy. Those are useless. The stun sticks, it looks like there's one for like a flash type, one for stun, one of them's going to be useless. Um, and the thing is, they're really not changing things with that. It's kind of like the um, Spike Wars in Shangri-La and Black Ops. You know, they're the same thing, just packaged differently. That's what it's going to be with these stun grenades. Um, also, there's going to be a three-kill streak combo. It happens in all the Call of Duties. Uh, there's Blackbird, Chopper, Gunner, Dogs in um, uh, Black Ops. Uh, in Modern Warfare 3, for a lot of people, the high kill streak is the you know, Predator missile. Uh, Reaper and Pavlo. Some people do AC-130, but it's pretty common now to be using the Pavlo. So this three kill streak combo is going to emerge, and a lot of the high-end kill streaks that they're showing that are going to be so so great are just going to dwindle down, and no one's going to use them. Next thing is the anti-camping gun. That's you know if you look at it in two different ways and play Devil's Advocate. Sure, it may be dangerous for campers when a rusher has that and they're trying to seek out a camper, but now we've added the element where campers can see through walls. Yeah, you got to think that one over, Treyarch. There's got to be a perk to counter that, and I mean, that's probably going to take away from some of the diversity when you have to use perks to counter things. I really don't like that because 
then it becomes a game of uh, you know perks countering different perks, and it, it's just silly in my opinion. Now the biggest problem with this trailer, by far, um, it's not going to change. It's been here since Modern Warfare 2, but you really got to be looking at this. It's worse than it ever has been. We're getting further and further away from gun versus gun with all these new kill streaks. You know, in Call of Duty 4, you had the pure gun on gun essence, which so many people loved. People would not camp because there was only 3, 5, and 7. Once you get past 7, as a lot of people say, that's when the camping starts. Now we have drones flying around everywhere. We've got these kind of like an AA gun, mobile AA gun. We've got kamikaze fighter jets going in. And it's just, it's looking stupid because all of these things prohibit movement. They don't increase movement or increase the flow of movement. They prohibit it because people are realize that going out in the open will get them killed and they revert to camping. It changes the flow, the pace, and the way the game is played. It changes what weapons are used, what perks are used. It mixes up the whole game by doing something like this and making it even worse in terms of all these kill streaks. They really need to strip it back down to the bare bones, but that'll never happen because that's part of what the wow factor is. If you think about how much of that trailer was dedicated to just showing these new kill streaks, you know, it kind of becomes obvious that that's where they hook in a lot of their, you know, a lot of their market who thinks that these kill streaks look cool and look awesome. And I mean, maybe that's where Battlefield flops, although they have a different approach of doing this. Uh, I'll put one positive in, and that is the mix up of the point system. Overall, am I happy about the trailer? Not so much. Am I excited? Yeah, because I want to get a new COD instead of Modern Warfare 3. Call of Duty Black Ops, my first and favorite COD. So I do have big hopes for it. Uh, we'll see what we can do with this. Um... Anyways, if you like my breakdown, which did not involve just copying a trailer and having no creative input over it or speaking to you guys as if you cannot see what is on your own screen, then, you know, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like or a favorite, if you really could, maybe a share. I know, I'm going to stop begging for stuff. And uh, anyways, uh, we'll see you next time. This is Waldo Wins. Peace.